Lost in the Woods. This is a character building story about faith. And one thing we learn about faith is it's depending on God to do what He has said He will do. Stevie was having fun. He spent a whole afternoon playing tag with a family of rabbits in a green meadow. Mmm, he said to himself. It sure is nice to be in agape land. I'm glad you're having a good time, said a voice next to him. Stevie turned around. Mr. Conductor was smiling down at him. The rabbits hopped up next to the conductor's feet. I wish I could stay and play, Mr. Conductor said, but I have some work to do on the music machine. Really? I'd love to help you, said Stevie. May I? Sure, I could use a hand later, the conductor replied. Meet me before sunset on the other side of the forest where the deer have made a gathering place. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just follow the narrow trail through the woods and you'll get there. Right, the narrow trail, Stevie repeated. The conductor disappeared into the forest then and Stevie went back to his game with the rabbits. Before he knew it, the sun was low in the sky. Oh, dear, I'm going to be late, he said to himself. He quickly strode to the forest path. At first, following the trail was easy, but as the sun began to set, the shadows of the trees made everything hard to see. The trail grew darker every minute. Stevie had to hurry because he was starting to get scared. In the quiet forest, his footsteps were the only noise. He felt all alone. Suddenly, a loud screech made Stevie jump. A big black crow swooped down and perched on a low branch in front of him. You scared me, Stevie said. I'm sorry, said the raven. You scared me, too. I'm lost. Where are you going? I'm meeting my friend, Mr. Conductor, the boy explained. Can I go with you? The crow asked. Sure, said Stevie. So the crow hopped onto Stevie's shoulder, and they continued on. Soon they came to a fork in the path. To the right, they could see a narrow trail leading into the darkest part of the forest. To the left, the path was wider and easier to see. Stevie remembered Mr. Conductor's words. He started toward the narrow trail, but the crow squawked loudly. Oh, you're not going down that path, are you? It asked. The other one looks a lot safer to me. Stevie had to admit the crow was right. But Mr. Conductor told me to follow the narrow trail, he said. I know he wouldn't lead me the wrong way. Ah, said the crow. How can you be sure? I have faith in Mr. Conductor, said Stevie. He has never lied to me. I know he never will. So Stevie took a deep breath and started down the narrow trail. The crow clung tightly to his shoulder. Deeper and deeper into the forest they walked. The shadows grew darker and darker. Finally, it was too dark to see the trail in front of them. Now what are we going to do, the crow squeaked. I knew we should have gone the other way. Your friend will probably forget about you when you don't show up. Then you'll have to stay here all night. He'll look for me, cried Stevie. He's a faithful friend. Well, friend or no friend, I'm flying back to the other trail. Are you coming, the crow asked. Stevie paused. No, he said finally. Mr. Conductor will find me somehow. I'd better stay here. Have it your way, the crow laughed. Stevie could hear the big bird's wings flapping as it flew away. Then he was alone in the dark. Stevie sat down on a big rock and started to cry. Then he remembered a song that Mr. Conductor had taught him. It was about faith. Stevie thought it might make him feel better to sing it. So he did, and it sounded like this. <laughs> Surely win the fight. He knew that he knew what he knew would be true, so he put his faith in God. He knew that he knew what he knew would be true, so he put his faith in God. Daniel in the lion's den knew that he was there for lunch. Those lions could have finished him with one big hungry munch. But Daniel trusted God to make those lions. Up his 
voice in praises to God's name. He knew that he knew what he knew would be true, so he put his faith in God. She's almost 91. But what the Lord has promised, that is what the Lord will do. Her baby came before the day that she was 92. I want my faith as strong as the song in my song. If I start trusting now, it won't be long. I know that I know what I know will be so, so I'll put my faith in God. After he sang, Stevie felt braver, and before too long he saw a light coming in his direction. He heard a voice, Stevie! Stevie! Here I am, Stevie cried. Soon he was wrapped in Mr. Conductor's strong arms. I knew you'd come, Stevie cried. It was hard to believe at first, but down deep inside I knew you would. And I was trusting that you had followed my directions, said Mr. Conductor. It would have been hard to find you if you hadn't. I guess you've learned a good lesson in faith, haven't you? Come on, let's go home, he said, taking Stevie's hand. We'll finish working on the music machine, all right? Stevie happily agreed. All right. <laughs> 